Tabon Cave is the only source no, of the uh, of the fossilized bones of Homo sapiens sapiens. There is no place here in the Philippines. Tabon Cave only. Got it. So that's why we call the Tabon Cave. Uh, our archaeologist, uh, Dr. Uh, Eusebio Dison, called the Tabon Cave as the epicenter of the Philippine archaeology. <laughs> we're, good. Yeah, we're good, we're good. I'm not going down there. <laughs> Growing up in the Philippines, Brad, what do you learn about in elementary school? The Tabon Cave, the Tabon Man, and the first people in the Philippines. And behind us right there is a massive limestone cliff, a lot of greenery, and an area called the Tabon Cave. At the bottom of this road is a complex. We're heading there today to learn a little bit about the history of the Philippines, of those people, and just to see the beauty. So let's go, Brad. Power on, man. <laughs> Let the history begin! <laughs> I'm all about learning history and culture, but before we even go in there, look how amazing this area is. This is beautiful. We'll talk about the islands later. Let's go learn about the tablet. Okay, exciting news. I'm in this center. It's really amazing. This is run by the National Museum. And I just asked them, I was like, where do I register? What do I do? Well, you register here, but guess what? As of right now, it's free. Yes. Yes. It's free. It's free. It's free. And do you like get a tour guide or can you hire yeah. a tour guide? Or like, can somebody teach Even me? Even the tour guide is free. Even the tour guide is free? Yes. yes. Can I buy you a beer later? No. <laughs> no. So, all right. so we're gonna go learn about a whole bunch of stuff. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Thank you and goodbye. I introduce you, sir, to Sir Carl. Our oh, cool. Commission officer. Hi. Carl. How are you? I'm Carl. Nate, what are we gonna do today? What's what's happening? What is this? I'm going to introduce you to the four galleries that are. Presenting the different displays that we have here. Okay. What language am I going to use? Kay Tagalog. Uh, or... You can do Tagalog, Halo Halo, Tagalog, Tagalog, whatever. Mahalo. Basta oh, okay. As Palawenyo, we would like to present to you our first gallery, Palawan as a cradle of heritage. Let's go! Uh, in the past, uh, 2,500 years ago, people used jars as their secondary burial. Pagbubulokin okay. muna nila yan ako, then bones, they will put it inside the jar. For is this is the older one? The older one. Uh, the older one. Yeah, the older one. The, uh, the old, the old 1,000 peso bill in the Philippines? Yeah. They're looking. I don't think I have an old one. Uh, I had this jar. Which is a traditional burial jar of the Tabon people. Yeah, it's really cool. Take a look at it. In case you're wondering how important weaving is here in the Philippines, they were doing it 39,000 years before present.
Here's the Rebel Skull Cup. So this one here is your logo, and how old is that? 16,500 years old. The lucky of a bae. Bye -bye, according to the feature of the skull cup. That's so cool. And that's your logo. That's rad, man. Rad. Are you learning? Very much. Yeah. <laughs> As you see here, we have two regions. This one, more red. The other one is more green. The green part is from the Palawan Continental Terrain. Okay. PCT. Galing siya dito sa baba ng China. Okay, yeah. Yung upper part of Palawan, including the El Nido, galing siya doon 40 million years ago. Dito sa part ng China. That was really cool. To summarize it, two plates. You have the northern section of Palawan, the southern section. The north came down from where China is. The south came up from where Borneo is. It formed this province. And there's no earthquakes because there's no issues with fault lines. Is it the Philippine skunk? No. Yeah, that is. is this the Philippine skunk? Yes. It it's is. Brad. Stink badger. They have a Palawan stink badger. It's like the Philippine skunk. <laughs> that means star. Now we are going to enter to the third gallery. B2 on. Welcome! Kumar. I'm gonna write my name Yeah, dude, write your name, man. This is so cool. Mark. You, where's the you? It's so cool, man. It starts always with consonant. Yeah. From 1962 to 1966, uh, for four years, uh, Robert Fox uh, uh, explored no, the whole Cars Formation. And as of today, the Cars Formation, uh, more or less, uh, it is uh, 105 hectares. Uh, it composed of uh, more or less uh, 218 cave caves and rock hectares. No? And out of that number, we have uh, 33 caves, which is uh, well explored and well excavated by archaeologists, anthropologists, and uh, generally, uh, we found uh, bones, jars, stones. Yeah. So, uh, very uh, as of now, uh, we are very specific in the Tabun Cave because uh, of all the cave, Tabun Cave is the most productive. So when I said this morning, when I was coming down, me and Kumar, because he learned in school, you learn about the Taban Cave, yeah, yeah. but uh, we weren't familiar. Do you say Taban people? No, it's just that, well, the Taban people, uh, it's Taban man. Yeah, yeah. We have no, uh, no we, uh, the term is just only a Taban man. So Got it. if we say Taban man, uh, the, uh, I, if, we, if I say Taban man, I refer to the four fossilized bones of Homo sapiens sapiens which is the tibia, mandible, jaw bones, and skull cap. Up there at the top of this museum, it's pa. Pa. Yeah. For? Pa mana. Meaning? Heritage. Yeah. And Pambansang Museo. National Museum. Museum. Yeah. That's the logo for the MNP, the Museum Nacional Filipinas. Nacional Museum of the Philippines. We're fueling up with a local coconut before going for a walk to the Tabun Cave. You gotta make sure you eat and drink before you come here because you're gonna need a lot of energy for your utak, <laughs> your brain, because it's gonna get bigger because you're gonna learn and be wowed by everything. So. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, Larry. How far is this? Uh, one kilometer and thirty meters. That is one thousand and one thousand and thirty meters. One thousand and thirty meters. We're taking the boardwalk to Tabin Cave. And that is the island there is uh, what we call the white sun. Oh, there's a sandbar? Yeah, the sandbar, yeah. On the other side, just past the cave, uh, there's another island called Tataran and it has a sandbar. And you can also take a boat from Kazan to go there. Yeah, yeah. So there's actually quite a few tourist spots uh, just off the coast here and it's so shallow. You can see, you can almost walk, no? <laughs> almost pretty much like Kadza Isla. <laughs> Gavi. All right, we gotta ask Kuya Ralph something. You ready? Yes. Can you teach me one word in Tagbanma? Danom. Danom, ano meaning Danom? Too big. Too big? Yeah. Seki, I could use some Danom right now. <laughs> nice sort of Ralph. Uh, what, the, what is the smell, sir? Bat poo. Okay, bat poo. No? So, as you see it, uh, this is the Liang Cave. No? Actually, uh, Liang Cave is the entrance cave. No? Uh, this is the entrance cave that we use no? for any activities inside the complex. No? So, Liang is a Palawan word uh, meaning uh, resting place. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Tabuntit Complex. <laughs> Woo. This is a nice fresh little trail. Yeah, fresh air. That's cool. You actually get to climb right out here on the side. It's just beautifully set up. We are now leading to the Tabun Cave. The Tabun Cave is the second among the eight caves that we're going to proceed. Nice. So this is the really historic one with the Tabun Man. Behind us is Tabun Cave. Am I safe to say that the first Pinoy and Pinay are dated back to this cave here? Yeah. Okay, I got the confirmation from Larry. Where are we going next? The uh, third cave, sir. Okay, yeah, yeah. welcome. Good boy, I good? I <laughs> good, good. Uh, when we said earlier about the Tabin Cave, we're referring to oldest fossilized bones of Homo sapiens. So not like the oldest Filipino or Filipina, but in that regard, people could date back to those people. Sakto? Sakto. This is a ginormous chamber, it just opens up completely. I know you can't really see it because I'm just on my little light, but... I think a bat just pooed on my shoulder. <laughs> or that's the, that's the stalactites. So this is excavated as well. Yeah. So it goes down another 450 meters. Yeah. It is too much in the last box. <laughs> last box. <laughs> yeah, we're good, we're good. I'm not going down there. <laughs> not that. Hello. The giant worm. Sir, please under your head. I still think that this thing is like a mouth and it's gonna it's gonna eat you. <laughs> Pretty steep, man. We missed the Angoy, no? Angoy. Some people just spotted an Angoy in one of these trees. 
Sayang. Sayang, we're in the cave, bro. This is the fifth cave, po. Ito po siya. Ito sir, ito sir, ito. Oh, it's us. Opposite, opposite. There. Yeah. Oh man. So that is the fifth cave. Uh, we call that cave as Manunggol Cave. Manunggo? Manunggo. Manunggo. Yeah. Oh, not Manunggal. Manunggal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, uh, ano, ano Manunggo? Manunggal is a Palawan word for high place or uh, high place. No, oh. it is 113.3 meters above sea level. This is where the Manunggo just was found on 1964. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, this is where the jars. So the jars are there that we talked so about. So this is the, no, no, uh, the photograph of the replica of the Manunggo jar. No? So... This is actually a proper trek that leads you into this valley behind big limestone cliffs. The caves are around us. Forest is everywhere. These for monkeys? Have you got it? Oh my god. There's two monkeys up there. Did you get them? Cave number eight, Tajo Cave. That is a term here in Plowin for jars. It's 90 meters in there. We're gonna go take a look, possibly at some birds' nests. And uh, this is also excavated in a place where they found many jars. big and then gets a bit smaller. Those are birds' nests. Wow. What's the name again of the bird? Sarang Lungot. Sarang Lungot. And it's a mix of saliva and moss. moss. <laughs> yeah. It's a bird's nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, it's difficult. The real? Do you have another buko? <laughs> buko round two. We did it! We did it! You're the best man. Thank you Larry. Salamat. Oh. Back to earth! We made it! We made it! What a walk! That is awesome. Super amazing, super educational. Really excited for all Filipinos and for nationals to come visit here and learn. Final question of the day. What's the operating hours? When can people come here? 9 to 5 p.m. Every Tuesdays and all Sundays. Tuesdays to Sundays, 9 to 5. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you guys. Salamat. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you for coming.